Hello, greatness. You are welcome and tuned into Heirs of God TV, perfecting saints to become like Christ. Stay tuned for another inspiring episode from your host. And now, let's welcome Dr. Vincent Alpong. Hello, mighty one. I bless the Lord for your life one more time. This is your brother Vincent Opon. And this is The Way Out, a book by Joseph Saber Banner. And we are on lesson number three The Ultimatum. When we were ending the law, we came to this understanding that it is possible because the very thing that is ordained and intended for us by our higher self is the law understanding the law and how to apply it no matter what because it is possible for there is a way out and he said that we must be made to see that by fearing money seeming power we are making it first and god second in our own lives hmm. and until we truly want to serve God more than any other thing and prove it by our right thinking, our speech, and our action. He said, we are not yet where the help of God can reach us. So what is this ultimatum? Now let's go on to lesson number three, the ultimatum. So this is the ultimatum that you are facing. Hmm. You have now come to the place where God holds out his hand to you and says, my child, I would help you. But it means that you must give yourself and your ideas over wholly unto me, saith the Lord. You must learn to think only my thoughts. Speak only what I would say. Hmm. And do only what I would have you to do. I think that you must not let into your mind or believe any other thoughts. No matter what appearances are. Or how much such thoughts beg for admittance. My goodness. And we all know that this is one of the greatest and the biggest struggles of so many believers. We go to church, we pray. And our hope, our faith is lifted. But immediately we close from church. We begin to speak opposite of what we prayed about. Hmm. You have had your chance and you see that. You see what a sorry mess you have made of things. And so now if you are willing utterly and completely to trust me. And to wait upon and serve me only. And will keep your mind and heart clean and empty of all untrue thoughts. So that I may fill them with my thoughts. Then I will inspire in you the ideas that will lift you quickly out of your present consciousness. Mm, my goodness. Right? So the whole goal is to be able to pick up on the mind of God. For God is still creating. Hmm. And he is only doing that by placing his desires in the very heart of man. He said, 
I will inspire in you the ideas that will lift you quickly out of your present consciousness, which means out of your present conditions into one where peace and harmony and plenty will be your mental children, my goodness, that will ever come to you to be fed with love and trust in me, confidence in your power to express me, and with the pure joy of living that you will then be feeling as the natural and continuous state of your consciousness. Is this wealth trying for you? Hmm. I will ask this question again. Is this wealth trying? Do you really want it? Then what are you going to do about it? If you are willing to make a supreme effort and to put all the power of your will into this, will make yourself a positive agent of your father's will. Kilada. Looking only and always to him to guide and to inspire you. You will truly receive all the help that you need. And you will find if you persist despite any discouragement that you that may come testing your determination that you will then walk straight into the good that has long been waiting for you. Even in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you once again. And that was the ultimatum. I'll see you in the next lessons. Appearances. Lesson number four. Have a great and a glorious day. You've been listening to Heirs of God TV, perfecting saints to become like Christ. Thanks for tuning in and please don't forget to subscribe, like and share and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on becoming all you were born to be.